Hey guys, it's Patty with Little Red Southern Kitchen. Sorry I've been MIA. I took a little, uh, we'll call it a mental health vacation for a little while, but I'm back. I hope everyone had a great holiday, Christmas and New Year's. Ours was pretty good. Can't complain. I did get an Instant Pot for Christmas. So, I've been using that. I haven't taped anything yet. But today we're going to be making a quick and easy corned beef and cabbage. What I've done is I've had a small head of cabbage that I cut up. And I'm just using one can of corned beef. Alright, I've got this on about medium. And in this pot, with my pan, I'm going to put half a stick of butter. Whoops. Minus the paper, of course. Let me let this melt. I don't think my burner's working right. I gotta plug it in. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Sometimes whenever uh, I clean my burners, I don't get it plugged in right. And it uh, doesn't want to work at first. Today, in South Carolina, here in the Low Country in Walterboro, we're snowing. It is actually snowing here. We've got some really bad conditions. I hope we don't lose power today. Um, the roads are really bad. I don't want to lose power because Tony, of course, has gone on a run. He went to Alabama, and uh, this is a total electric mobile home, so... Anyway, all right, let's get this going. I've got that. I'm letting it melt, but I'm going to go ahead and add this. My cabbage. You can do this with bacon and add bacon to it as well to get the grease off the bacon. But I don't have, oops, sorry, I don't have any bacon right now. Okay, at the time, I am not going to add any salt to this. But I am going to add some pepper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cook down for about 15 or 20 minutes. With the lid on, let it steam and fry a little bit. And I will bring you all right back. I just wanted to show y'all what we have going on here. Now remember, I live in South Carolina, so this is like really different for us. But okay, back to cooking. Okay, this has been cooking about 15 minutes. I don't want my um, cabbage cooked to death. So this time, okay, I opened that can of corned beef. Please be careful when you open the corned beef. My key broke off, and I had to perform surgery to get it out. And luckily, I still have all my fingers. I've always had trouble with those. Okay, I'm just going to put this in here. I do want to stir it around a little bit. Alright, I'm going to let this cook about 10 or 15 minutes more. So I can stir it around, then I'm going to taste it and check for seasonings. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. This has been cooking about almost 10 minutes. I didn't leave it on that long. And it is ready. So I'm going to get a plate. I'm not going all out. Today is just meat. 
So I'm going to break out the fine china to eat off of. I did check for uh, seasoning and with the corned beef added in it, I do not need to add any more seasoning. My corned beef is still crisp. Alright guys, y'all have a great day. And Happy New Year. And y'all keep warm. I'm going to try. See y'all later. Bye.